Hi everyone, so um, what I'm doing in this video is creating a little um, mini travel watercolour palette, um, especially for this little TN. So when I'm out and about, um, I have a great greater selection of colours than in my even smaller palette which I made. Um, now you can see with that piece of paper I used it as a template to cut out um, the right size piece of silicon. Now this is actually a silicon mini ice cube tray uh, and it's very very easy just to cut out the size that you want. You really just have to be careful as you're cutting it um, like here I make a little bit of a mistake um, you'll see in a minute what happened was I cut too close to the line and it it um, made little gaps so when I would pour in the uh, watercolour it would leak so I started to get again on the other side now this silicon is very cheap I think I paid no more than three pounds for it um, I will link below to where I bought mine from um, so I actually saw this idea somewhere else I can't recall exactly where I saw it somewhere on YouTube um, and I thought I'd have a look to see if I can get hold of this little mini ice cube tray and I was able to find it very easily I think I got it from I think I got it from Amazon I'll have a look and I'll pop the link below for you so my thinking here is to um, create little um, not just like you see those little squares there in a moment you'll see um, I'll cut out bigger um, holes so I'll have double the space for some watercolours and I'll keep the single square for other watercolours it'll all make sense later on so um, I'm just going to speed up the process uh, otherwise it would just go on forever um, now I take my time uh, make sure it lines up um, and then held it against that template to see exactly how much I needed to trim off on the edges um, in a minute where you see the corners so that I'm placing it in the tray um, the corners I need to trim to make it fit snugly into the box so you'll see shortly when I do that super close but um, it's just so you can see exactly what I'm doing now here I am snipping out some of the partitioning walls between the squares to create a bigger space for some of the watercolors this really is experimental and I do have more silicon should I change my mind later on um, but or if I want to make another tin but um, yeah you see I just trim the partitioning walls so there's more space 
so now onto the watercolors um, because this is a fun little set and it's just for my tiny TN I wanted to use a cheap set of watercolors that would still work they weren't going to be too um, watered down so um, I found these ones um, oh, what's the name of them I can't remember now but I'm gonna leave a link below anyway and they were very reasonably priced they were 5 dollars and they came in a tin which is super handy because the tin that I'll, I'll be using for my white nights um, so what I'm doing here I'm squeezing out some of the color well all the colors just so that I can test them um, and show you how um, how they turn out and I've never used them before so I really wanted to see how well they um, how I, how well they come out so I decided to use um, Cardi paper which is this book here and I just really really roughly swatched them I'm not being precious about it I literally just want to see what the colors look like um, and I just find that on Cardi paper they come out all watercolors just come out really really beautifully um, and I was immediately surprised at how well the pig pigmented the colors were so I was really happy with that because again it's just for fun watercolor in my tiny TN or general journaling and in my tin um, that I'm, I've just put together I will be adding other artist well artist grade watercolors this is obviously a student grade but I will be adding other colors as well so I've got um, quite a good palette going um, but you'll see that shortly <laughs> colors are really pigmented um, super happy with those and I particularly like this it looks it's meant to be red but it looks like a coral color and I love that green as well below it so I'm really really happy with those okay so all that's left now is to fill the palette with watercolors um, it's all quite self-explanatory now um, I set aside some artist grade, obviously my Daniel Smith watercolours. I've got one Winsor & Newton there, the turquoise, which I'm experimenting with. Uh, I never used that before, I literally just bought it. And uh, I'm counting up, just checking how much space I have, counting on my watercolours, um, and literally having fun and experimenting with this. It's a perfect little palette, actually. I've got all the colours I need. Um, so when I go nature journaling as well, I've got enough colours there. Should I want to use this palette? And also I can make up another palette and take out, so I take out this silicon um, that I filled with watercolours and I can make up a new one and swap them out. So um, yeah, so it's all about experimenting, having fun and it's quite, a it is a very cheap way if you don't use the artist grade watercolours and you just use the cheaper ones because obviously you don't really need artist grade for, um, for this if it's just for your own personal journaling, especially with the tiny journaling as well because you really, uh, you, it's not going to be seen, uh, it's not going to be displayed is it, so um, the light fastness doesn't really matter too much at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, just play the rest with some music, if you have any questions just leave them below and uh, I hope this video inspired you and uh, it helps if you want to do the same as well. Again, if you are wanting to do this for yourself and you have any questions, just leave them below and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thank you ever so much for watching and until next one, bye.